Well, hello, this is Shiva, and this is just a hopefully small update. I don't start uh, standing on my soapbox and start preaching again like I usually do. Uh, but this is a small update of the um, the great experiment. Um, we're using the FP editor uh, to design a table and then export the layout uh, as a blueprint to Pin Builder and then build it uh, in Pin Builder. Uh, because, uh, you know, I decided to, to see if uh, we could do a better game in Pin Builder. Um, yeah, you know, it, it's getting there. The program is getting there, but, you know, it still has a ways to go, I think. Uh, and as you can see, I think it's pretty obvious why I decided to use FP to do this. Um, just the quality of life uh, things that are in FP... Uh, but also, I wanted to define at least the shapes of everything that I have. Um, so give this a, a, a more unique appearance. Now, I've made a few suggestions to the developers. You seem to like uh, quite a few of them. So that is good. And uh, so I guess I'll have to wait for the next update and play around with it and see if it's possible to start actually building the table. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, the, the base design is done here. Um, but I, I also wanted to talk about my concerns about uh, the process of building the table in Pin Builder because there are a couple of problems that I see with this design. Um, first off, this is scaled to Pin Builder dimensions as opposed to the normal dimensions that we would normally use. In fact, it's actually a little bit too long. Um, so I'm really seriously hoping that uh, she removes these blue walls that, that she has uh, on the table uh, because uh, they're just getting in the way. And uh, if those blue walls, especially this this wall here and this and the wall that's over here, she can remove those and give us the ability to have a, a wall object where and we can specify the rip. That would just free up so much room because that means that I can drop all of this section down a little bit and I can free up the room for the big problem with this uh, with this design. And the big part, and in case you're wondering what the problem is, is this ramp. And um, first off, this is actually done in, in five pieces, right? This is a, a primitive. Um, the one thing that I really, really, really wish, and I'm going to mention this every damn time, but I, but you know what? It's that damn important. The ability to put, uh, to make your own, uh, is to take a primitive, which is a ramp like this, and the ability to insert new ramp. There you go. Is the ability to ha uh, to be able to. Um, make your own control points add and delete control points i really don't understand why it's not in there it makes not it's not just making my life a lot simpler it may actually makes the developer's life a lot simpler too because i think she's already beginning to see problems with uh with so many objects things like transparent plastics and walls that are showing seams um if you have a lot of objects you're going to have texture problems on the side uh, on the side of objects because you know the the textures you know don't stretch if you have multiple objects and you know things like that um you, you may also have physics problems too as well because if it's if pin builder is anything like fp and so far i haven't really seen it i've noticed it very slightly every once in a while uh but with uh with fp one of the, its biggest problems with its physics is the ball uh, sometimes when the ball hits a multiple object like say if the ball say hits here and, and the objects are different uh okay right here see if it hits here and here at the same time the ball may have a, a little bit of a problem uh, sometimes um you know the, the infamous gate problem in fp where the ball hits the gates and just doesn't go through it or sometimes it just seems to sort of jump a little bit or, or move in a weird direction it's because the ball is hitting a prop uh two different completely different objects 
and it doesn't know which physics to use. So that's the reason why FP does that. And I've noticed this with a little, tiny, tiny, tiny little bit uh, with, with Pin Builder that in sections where I have a lot of objects, the board does seem to have a, have some problems uh, every once in a while. Now, not very serious at all. It's very, very minor. The fact is, is that Pin Builder handles um, that are way better than FP. And by the way, uh, even VPX has problems with that every once in a while too as well. So, you know, uh, but you know, this is really the reason why, one of the, the other main reasons why I wanted that ability to have multiple control points. The ability to be able to do our control points. That way we can shape everything the way uh, we want. And uh, she doesn't have to make like 2 million models because I'm pretty sure I am going to be requesting quite a few models over the next couple of months or once I start building this. Uh, because there are definitely some models that are just that are not supported yet. So well, we'll see what happens, right? Uh, anyway, this ramp. I have to pat myself on the back. The fact that is I managed to do this in uh, five objects. Um, if I have to do this in pen builder, I hate to imagine how much it would, even if I had that capability, I hate to imagine how many objects it would actually require. Um, and it's not just build time, it's also performance issues too as well. But this is done in five. The problem I'm having right now is that because of the size, this little section there is actually uh, uh, not long enough. And it should actually be, hang on. It should actually be out here a little bit more um, and that's just uh, but uh, now the ball won't be trapped here uh, the ball won't be able to get through here right uh, but that's really what I, I wanted to do um, and and I would say that you know from a physics point of view the ball uh, the physics should be able to handle this a lot better uh, unfortunately you know you've got to work with what you got right uh, so we'll undo that. Oh, this has gotten a little misshapen here a little bit. I have to fix that. Okay, so uh, as you can see, we have limited lead-in models uh, with Pin Builder. Uh, we have a couple that I believe look uh, were uh, supposed to be xenon ramps, um, and they're just really, really tiny and small and and not like that. I have a feeling. We do have a metal strip. Uh, one is looks as if it was taken from Flash Gordon. Uh, by the way, to the developer, that model, by the way, uh, that is used in the ramps there, is upside down. But, you know, it's, it's fine. Um, anyway, yeah, I noticed that immediately as soon as I saw that. But, oh, wait a minute. This is the Flash Gordon ramp, right? Yeah, it's upside down. Anyway, never mind. Uh, you can see where I'm going to have a problem because the only thing that I know of that's going to be able to do this particular ramp is the wire foam ramp. And uh, uh, it's not going to look so good. But, you know, if that's all we have to use. That's all we've got to use. So that is going to be a problem uh, in its own right. But uh, I really, really, really want that extra space. So I'm hoping the developer does put in all of my suggestions at the very least. That would at least give me the ability to add a little bit more room, um, especially if we if the blue if we can uh, just have a blank play field without any walls and, and have a an object where we can just increase the rip, you know, like you know, like this. Yeah, see, you know, easy, and uh, uh, we can just build our own walls. And then we can just shape them. I would make mine a little thinner. I would drop the, I would rebuild my plunger area, rebuild the entire apron. Um, it would probably be, hang on, shift, there we go. And I would probably have it down, ooh, about as low as I can get away with, I would probably say here. So yeah, I would be able to free up um, a couple of inches. Might be, well, an inch and a half. I would say I would be able to, uh, to save about an inch and a half i think it would make a huge world of difference in terms of the gameplay um because with uh because with the pin builder games i've noticed everything is too compressed
because it's a lot smaller size you're losing about 10 percent of your playing area and everything has become a little bit more compressed so the physics uh just aren't as good uh while with this game i have done everything i can to try and have as open space as possible uh we'll see what happens oh yeah the other big problem that i can see almost all immediately is if i do use a wire form um this may have to be changed but as you can also tell i sort of planned that out i did a lot of planning on this design just for, uh just so i could hopefully build this in pin builder um so yeah um so the the entry point so the ball will actually en could end up going over here before it gets kicked up uh this is just a straight up kicker anyway so that's uh, about you know that's just a little bit of a brief explanation um once uh you know i you know i'm waiting for the next couple of updates and then once they're in there then i guess i'll get on with it and, and actually uh build try to build something like this in pin builder i kind of feel the pin builder kind of really needs a game that sells the program uh the games are okay um that are packaged with it but you can really tell that they just you know there's some things there that, uh, that are not quite professional or you know there's a lot of raggedness to them and 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 things like that uh i would say that uh, pen builder kind of really needs a game that will sell the program and well you know i've been doing this since uh, 82 so well uh, with pinball construction set so i guess i have the experience to do it i think this is a pretty good game uh if we can get uh, a, a table to look like this in pin builder or at least reasonable facsimile of it uh yeah i think uh, i i think it it will sell the program uh, to a, uh, a lot more people so that they can actually see um a, a pretty decent design now this is firepower with a whole bunch of uh extra bits added to it this is really all all it is um, and oh, I really wish I had that extra space, especially for the right hand side. Uh, if you watch my videos, you would have seen that w what I originally had planned. But you know, as I said before, you just got to work with what you got. Um, I can see some things here that's going to be very, very difficult to do in Pen Builder at the present moment. But you know, we'll work it out as we go along hopefully or we may come up with a one of those really really weird ass solutions that i've been known to come up with every once in a while uh but we'll see what happens uh anyway there's the game and uh i hope everybody uh understands what i'm saying i've got the hockey game to watch today it's edmonton florida game seven Edmonton came back from a zero from a three game deficit to tie the series up Free to free. This is it. This is for all the marvels. And and you know I don't care I, I, even if you're not a fan of either Florida or Edmonton. Watch this game. It's going to be the best game of the season. It'll probably be the best game of the decade. I mean it's going to be a fabulous, fabulous game. So looking forward to it. So I decided to record this now. Uh, but as you can see, it's uh, this is what the game looks like. Oh, if you've noticed something, um, I had to compromise. Uh, Future Pinball is a very, very old program and OBS is having uh, just doesn't like it at full screen so I put this in windowed mode so that we actually can play the game yeah uh, the problem with uh, the problem with that is future pinball only supports 1440p in window mode so we're gonna get a smaller size table uh, overlaying over the editor it doesn't look very professional to say the least but you know it's 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 the way to do it obs is really a huge pain in the ass sometimes uh so but you know uh, at least i'll be able to show the game and uh at least future pinball games in future so hey you know that's good in the meanwhile i'm going to sign off now i think i've talked way too much uh hope you have a great day um if you're a hockey fan watch that game it's five o'clock pacific eight eastern uh, it's going to be, it definitely is going to be the game of the decade, I think. Uh, so, uh, hope you enjoy it like me. Uh, go Oilers. I mean, what can I say? I'm Canadian. And, uh, 
we'll talk to you next time we'll wait for the next update see what's there and if uh if there are changes then i might have to make some small changes to this particular layout so that it fits a little bit better but you know it's kind of worth the effort don't you think i think it's uh, i think the design is proven that it's kind of worth the effort to to give it a, a little bit of extra love than, than you would normally do so uh in the meanwhile uh, my name is shiva and uh i'm going to be signing off for the time being we'll see you next time